It's back. 2020 Major League Baseball season. 60 regular season games starting July 23rd or July 24th. The trade deadline will be August 31st. There will be a universal DH. Extra inning games will start with a runner on second base. Now, a <laughs> couple of things. I'm glad baseball is back. I'm glad baseball is back. But with 60, you know, games, I don't know how, like, you know, let's say someone bats 400. Will it be considered an asterisk? Will people consider it an asterisk? Whoever wins the World Series this year, will it be considered an asterisk for fans? Uh, you know, whoever wins the batting title will be considered an asterisk. Cy Young will be considered an... It seems like this season... You know, I don't know how fans will treat this season. Based on 60 games, I think it's safe to say that this would be considered um, an asterisk uh, of a baseball season. Asterisk. Listen, and I and I hope it's back. I really hope it's back. I hope it's back, for certain. And just because they say baseball is back, it doesn't mean uh, it doesn't mean a lot could could change. Until then, you're still not in the second wave of COVID nineteen. I love sports. Is this a bad idea? Maybe should have you just called it a season and retooled for next season's guidelines to prepare for the future. You know, you know there are already people, uh, there are already p a couple of players that already have tested uh, positive. So it's already a few things. Again, going back to the season, listen, the, the reigning World Series champs had a losing record after 60 games last year. Does this year's title, does it mean something or does it mean nothing if the season even finishes? That's, you know, what I worry about. 60 games, I get it. Uh, better than no games. Now listen. They had a losing record at 60 games, I know. And they won the, and they won the whole thing. You know, opposite can happen too. It's unpredictable. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, I, I think if anything, um, what what they're looking to do is just test out these new rules, like you know, extra inning, you know, runner on second right away. I mean, <laughs> what is that? That's like. A beer league to me. Uh, you have that universal DH. So, you know, like for for a team like the Mets, it clears up a lot of holes where they're able to pay a lot of their guys that they have conflicts with. You know, now you have a spot for let's say a JD Davis, a um, Robbie Cano, or a um, you know. Yeah, it, 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 you, you with the universal DH it could potentially solve a lot of you know questions about who gets to play and who doesn't. You know, Cespedes could be a DH if he's ever uh, back. You know, and the bright side thing uh, with this too is um, you know the Tigers can't lose a hundred. 
<laughs> the Pirates can't lose 100 because they're only 60 games. So, <laughs> you know, some baseball is better than no baseball, I guess. Yeah, and the extra running runner rule is to keep games shorter, maybe, because they are um, obviously packing more games into less days, therefore less days off. That might be a reason. I don't know. You just, uh, you know, you hope that they're able to start and that they're able to, to finish this season. It's good that, um, you know, sports are coming uh, back to show. And then showcase a ball as well. 